Why is the frog riding the turtle? I don't know. Hey y'all, it's Beth. Welcome back to my channel for part three of what in the world was in the boxes from my friend Hedy. So if you did not watch the first video, I'll link it right above here. My friend dropped off uh, a couple of boxes for like two weeks uh, and it had a lot of big things in them and then she also dropped off a bunch of jewelry. Now we haven't even touched the jewelry yet but we will um, but I wanted to go through all of the big pieces. So part one that I linked above showed you like the first 20 plus pieces that I was able to pull out and part two that I'll link above right here and all of them will be in the description below shows you what the other things that were the big pieces that were in the um, box boxes from Hetty, like this beautiful praying hand, tea light candle, like this beautiful um, oil. I think it's an oil, a uh, little decanter, like maybe this basket that is clear glass. And the majority of it is clear glass because she knows that I'm trying to bring back the clear glass in 2022. And if you didn't see that collaboration with Dolores from Miss Damn Jewelry and Katie from Vintage and Vinyl. I'll link that playlist right above here and in the description below. Y'all, we had almost 30 people from Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube participate in that collaboration. And you would not believe all the beautiful clear glass that people have and how they are using it every day in their home. So make sure that you check out that collaboration. You will not be sorry. So today, what I wanted to do, and yes, it is the same day, um, but I wanted to break it into manageable pieces, is I have have um, the small. So there's a couple of bags of things that are full that I wanted to go through. Um, and it looks like there's, mm, I don't know, maybe 10 plus pieces in each bag, um, plus some fabric that I'm going to show you that she dropped off to me. We'll start with that. But this will conclude what she has brought me thus far minus the jewelry. Now, again, if you didn't hear me say this in the first two videos, she also brought me over 170 pieces of jewelry. She is just downsizing. Um, she's no longer going to be a reseller. She just doesn't have time for it anymore. Um, and she needs the space back in her home. And so she has graciously, beyond graciously, gifted me all of these things. And yes, I have tried to pay her multiple times. I have offered to put them in inventory. And as they sell, give her the money um, and she refuses that. She said if I did not just take them, she was going to donate them um, to different places. And so I said, fine. I give. But we are going to trade some things that she may need or want. She does a lot of helping people in her community. And so if we have something that somebody else can use, I surely will gladly give it to her. Um, so that's what we're going to do today is go through the last part. Now, the jewelry will be coming live. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and make sure to hit that notification bell to all notifications because when we do go live to show the jewelry or when other videos post, then you'll be the first to know about that. So I'd love to have you be part of my YouTube family and go through all the goodies with me, y'all. I do go thrifting very frequently. I also have some crafts every once in a while and some bake with me. As a matter of fact, Hetty has been thrifting with me. None of this stuff I saw when she was with me, but we have gone thrifting together. Uh, she just thrifts for many people uh, in her family and for her own use. And of course, she was reselling at one point. So again, Hetty, thank you so much. So let's get on with what is in the third portion of the boxes that she brought over. Okay, I'm gonna start with this little wooden thing. I love this little wooden container. You know I'm all about a little wooden container. And in here, I'm just gonna show you is a bunch of fabric. Some of it is a little bit older vintage fabric like this, and it could be just scraps or pieces. So what I will probably do is lot it maybe by color um, or say, you know, two or four pieces for a dollar. Um, unless there is a crafter out there who uses this type of material, feel free to contact me and we will talk about how to get it to you. But look how darling these are. For Easter and for Valentine's Day, oh my gosh, there's just tons of colors. I don't have the opportunity to craft as much as I used to and 
I can't sew on a button, which is shameful, but I love these colors and somebody could do a whole bunch with this. So if you know somebody who's a crafter, look at this little heart. That's an older heart pattern, but it is just some wonderful fabric. It's all clean, um, but I have no need for it and I'd rather pass it on since it was passed to me uh, than to resell it and we'll see what happens. So if you need some fabric, let me know. Send me an email. Let's start with the first bag and, and nothing in these bags are wrapped. This is what I see right here is someone is going to love. So we'll take a little sneak peek of it before I start pulling things out. We'll go ahead and pull out the little darling little um, ghost. And I need to fix him up. But how cute is he with the little, look at the little basket. It's got its own little trick or treat basket. Oh my gosh. Now this is Michelle Allen for Bethany Love Designs maybe, made in the Philippines. I knew I was gonna need my glasses for this one, but he is too, too cute. Uh, definitely keep that one for Halloween. All right, another one for all my friends in Illinois. Here you go, a little Stein that says Illinois. Now somebody collects souvenir things. Who is that? If you know who that is that collects, it might be Nesting Haven. I'm not sure. Nicole from Nesting Haven. It is made in Japan. Um, so this little stein. No chips or cracks in any of this stuff. Um, let's see what else there is. There is an old rotary phone. It looks like it was a salt and pepper shaker. Because here are the holes right here. Look at the old rotary phone. And it has a little hole. Now, I don't know if there's anything that goes with it um, in here, but that would be a great little display piece. I have a little uh, little shadow box like thing I'm wanting to fill up, but it's awfully narrow. So I don't know if this will fit in there, but that is super cute for display. Um, and then y'all, you gotta love them. Look at these. Aren't they cute? They are marked Japan on the back right here, and they do have their stoppers or at least replacement stoppers. No chips or cracks in these little wide-eyed little piggies. And so I thought these were darling. And let's see what else. Now, I don't know if these two things go together. I'm gonna have to say no, but maybe. This one is just a mama cat and a kitten. I don't know what they hold right here, so if you do know, let me know. This also looks like a salt or pepper shaker. Um, and then this one says Arkansas, and this is just the barrel that for the pepper. Now, the salt is not there. I mean, I guess they could go together like this, but I don't really think they go together, so let me know what you think about that. However, odds and ends of salt and pepper shakers make great little displays, especially for your tiered tray. All right, the next little bag looks something like this. And I see one of my favorite things in here, y'all. I'm gonna take it out first. It's a donkey. <laughs> y'all know I love me a donkey. Look at that. And it says on the bottom, it does say Pewter Taiwan right here on the bottom. Now, you know I'm gonna keep this little donkey. He's too, too cute. I love all things donkey. I have a donkey brooch. I have a little donkey um, figurine over there. Just too cute. I even have some donkey, a, don a little tiny tonala donkey that people have sent me. All right, now this one is, a, this is metal. I um, don't know what kind, maybe steel, but it looks like it went on the top of something. But I thought he was super cute. Look at that big old bum. Uh, got a little handkerchief in the back. Now the paint is chipped off, but I thought he would be cute in a little display as well. I think he is darling. Maybe he's the single man for Valentine's Day with that red shirt on, but I like him. And these are two what I think are cast iron pieces, but I don't know what they would go to. This says Wilton on there. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. And it's some kind of little table. And then there's a little guy right here, and it looks like he went on something. So the little guy and the table, don't know anything about them other than they are cast iron. This is some of that stuff that I could possibly put in my one day eBay box um, and just see because it is cast iron and 
you know, it could also be do well at my shop. I'm just not certain. All right, I have one more. This one is gonna be a little bit shorter video, but I still have all of this to go through, and there are some little pieces in there. So let's go in and dig through to see what is in this one. Now I'm gonna take out the biggest piece, and she's a little dirty, but she is too cute. This little girl with her little blonde braids and her little apron. Now there is a hole right here and I have no idea what that hole is for. Again, if you can help me, go ahead in the comments. But she's just a little figurine. I can clean her up. Let's see what else is in here. Here is a little wooden, I guess that is, I don't know if that's a soldier or a woodsman. I don't know what that is. No marking on there, but he does have an ax. And he has a little like feather thing. So y'all know what he is? I don't. But great little display piece or um, something for a mystery box. And y'all, look how cute this is. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. But look, it's a shell something. A shell. No, it can't be a frog, y'all. Maybe it's a lizard because it has a tail. Maybe it's a shell lizard. Any guesses? Put it in the comments below. What is he? Maybe, I don't even know, is this a drum? Is this, well, wait, wait, wait. He, wait, here's the turtle at the bottom. Okay, let's section it off. This looks like a turtle. And this frog, is riding said turtle. Why is the frog riding the turtle? I don't know, but he's cute. Very weird. So weird he's cute. So we'll just put him right back here. Frog riding a turtle, right. Um, another little teeny frog, just a little teeny frog. Great for a mystery box or something like that. Let's see, I see something Anesco Japan. It's a little trinket box. It's been taped together, so that's good. No chips or cracks. Here's the bottom of the little, where it says Anesco, and there is, it's four-footed. And then here, let me take the tape off. She put probably taped it so it wouldn't come off. It's got beautiful purple flowers and gold and green. That's really pretty. It's almost like a bisque feel. It is probably hand painted. Um, but yeah, I don't want to drop the lid. But that is super cute. Uh, let's see. Oh, I love this. Now, Oh, the little lid comes off. Okay, so this is everything in Paris perfume. Now, I believe when my mom saw this through the bag, she said, oh my goodness, she remembers that. It's a little cobalt blue glass, um, but it is a perfume and it does have the little stopper. The stopper is plastic, but the, the bottle is glass and it does say everything in Paris right there. Um, it doesn't say who it's made by. It's in New York though. And it says on the bottom, our Jolly. I don't know, our Jolly. I don't know what it says on the bottom there. If you know, leave me a comment. But I like this little bottle. I'll be keeping that for the little display. All right, so then I saw these two teeny tiny little, what I think, our dollhouse pictures? No, not pictures, because they don't have anything on them. They're just these little white pieces of ceramic. But I think they're like dollhouse something, right? And there are two of them. So again, if you know what these are, put it in the comments below. It was in this bag. Okay. Then the next biggest items are Millie and Willie. These are um, salt and pepper shakers. They are plastic. They are very vintage. They have their stoppers in there. Um, these say, what do these say down here? F and F. I think they're Fitz and Floyd. Isn't the capital F and capital F Fitz and Floyd? 
Um, it does say Dayton, Ohio, USA. But I've seen these several times, and they all end up looking like this. But this is Millie and Willie. So these are super cute little salt and pepper shakers. And then the last of these, I think these are presidents, y'all. I don't know. Um, well, I do recognize this one. That's Washington, and clearly the name is right here. So that does say Washington. Um, then this one says Truman, little figurines. This one says Eisenhower. And this one says Roosevelt. And this one says J.Q. Adams, John Quincy Adams. What a dapper man. And then this one says Polk. So I don't know what these were used for. I'm sure there is way more than those in there, but I ended up with six of these and I have no idea what to do with them. So if you have an idea, let me know in the comments below. You know, February, there's President's Day. Maybe they could go on a display or a tear tray, or maybe there is a market for them. I have no idea. So if you do, please let me know in the comments. So those are all the littles that were in those bags, including the fabric. And again, if you know of anybody who needs that, let me know. Um, I think my favorite pieces is going to be the blue cobalt perfume bottle because it does still have the little stopper with it. Um, of course, you know, I love the donkey. Um, so I think that those are my two favorites. So what is your favorite from the littles that we found in the final box of things that Hetty has brought me so far? So thanks so much for watching y'all. If you enjoy this type of content where we look at old thrifting finds together and go through mystery boxes, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And again, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and all of the good things that we talked about at the beginning so that you help me grow in both my knowledge and help my channel grow. And until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye.